Good morning, viewer. Welcome to our Fusak TV USA. Here is the breaking news. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken has said the imminent threat of Russian military action in Ukraine justified evacuating the U.S. Embassy in Kyiv. His words came after Ukraine's president urged calm, saying the biggest enemy was panic. More than a dozen countries have urged their citizens to leave Ukraine. Moscow, with more than 1 lakh troops near the border, has denied it plans to invade. The Kremlin's top foreign policy advisor, Yuri Usakov, has dismissed U.S. warnings of an attack, saying hysteria has reached at its peak. The crisis comes eight years after Russia annexed Ukraine's southern Crimea Peninsula. Since then, Ukraine's military has been locked in a war with Russian-backed rebels in eastern areas near Russia's border. Saturday saw further attempts to de-escalate tensions in the region. In a phone call, President Joe Biden warned Russian leader Vladimir Putin of swift and severe cost if Russia sends in troops. Mr. Biden will speak to Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky later on Sunday by phone. UK Defense Secretary Ben Wallace, meanwhile, compared recent Western diplomatic efforts to stop an invasion to the effacement of a Nazi Germany. Mr. Wallace told to the journalists, there is a whip of men in the year, a reference to an agreement with Hitler that failed to prevent World War II. Ukraine's ambassador to the UK, Badaim Prystisko, however, criticized Mr. Wallace's comment. It is not the best time for us to offend our partners in the world, reminding them of this act, which actually were. The prudent things to do, the UK, US and Germany are among several countries who have urged their nationals to get out of Ukraine immediately. The US decision to evacuate most of its embassy staff in Kyiv was followed by similar moves by Canada and Australia. All three nations have instead shifted operations to the western city of Lviv near the Polish border. Although. The UK ambassador has said she will stay in the Ukrainian capital with a co-team. Mr. Blinken said the risk of military action was high enough and the threat imminent enough that the evacuation was the prudent thing to do. But earlier, Ukrainian President Zelensky had urged calm, saying right now the people's biggest enemy is panic. Mr. Zelensky said that if Western powers had any firm evidence of an impending invasion, he had yet to see it. There are no major signs of panic in Kyiv or other major Ukrainian cities. However, she added that Ukrainians are starting to take the threat from Russia increasingly seriously and are taking their own contingency measures. An emergency evacuation plan for Kyiv's 3 million residents has been drawn up by the capital's mayor's office as a precaution. The White House has warned that an invasion could happen at any time and could begin with bombing from the yard. Meanwhile, Dutch Yerland KLM announced on Saturday it would indefinitely hold all flights to Ukraine in light of the tensions. The airline has not flown over eastern parts of Ukraine or Crimea since 2014. German carrier Lufthansa has said it is considering suspending flight. An advisor to the Ukrainian president chief of staff told Reuters news agency the country sees no point in closing its airspace, calling the idea nonsense. But later on Sunday, the head of the Ukrainian's air traffic control advised airlines to avoid a potentially dangerous zone. Over the Black Sea, where Russian forces are holding their largest naval raids in years between 14 
and 19 February. He stressed, however, that Ukrainian airspace is currently open and available for flight planning. Tension have steadily increased as Russia has continued to deploy troops along Ukraine's eastern border. The Kremlin says it cannot accept that Ukraine, a former Soviet Republic with deep social and culture ties with Russia, could one day join the Western Defense Alliance NATO and has demanded that this be ruled out. The US has rejected that, saying that as a sovereign nation, Ukraine should be free to decide its own security alliances. Be on the C4 for TV USA.